One of the best ways to be better in Madden 18 is to have a system. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that is your first time watching my channel, I just want to encourage you to watch the entire video all the way through. I'm not crazy, I have a point and uh, I, I really think this video is going to help a lot of people. So today what we're talking about is the system and, and, and what I mean by that is my system. What is my system? What, what do I do? How, how does my offense work in conjunction with one another? And I really want to break it down for you. So we're just going to break down the nuts and bolts of it. If you want specific setups, you want specific things, check out the premium membership that's in the description below. Um, it can get you all of that content. But the system, and what I mean by that, is most people that are successful in any area of sports comp competition, games, whatever it may be, they have a plan and they have a very clear plan and they use it very well together. And so I'm gonna show you how I do mine and what the basic thing is, is this tagline. It's jab, 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 right hook. And and if you guys know boxing, you know that one of the, com that, that's, a, that's a punch combination. Basically what it means is you're going to hit them with the jab, you're gonna hit them with the jab, you're gonna hit them with the jab, and then you're gonna hit them with a right hook. So your jab is with your left hand. So you're, you're kind of hitting them just relentless jab, 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 and then you're going to bring your power, your big power play, your big, you know, your big gun out, which is your right arm, and you're going to right hook somebody, and that's how a lot of knockouts happen. So the reason that I use this analogy is because I think it makes a lot of sense when you think about it with Madden and when you use it with Madden, because in Madden, what a lot of people what a lot of people don't do well is they don't know how to get a system together, and so what what essentially that means is you want your play calling, you should have a jab play and you should have a right hook play, okay? So the jab play, it basically is gonna set up the right hook play. So um, if you guys know for, for years, I ran the spread and we ran curl flats, curl flats, curl flats, curl flats, and that set up the play verticals. OK, so and, and we're going to do this. We're just going to pick a random thing. So you're going to get a free mini scheme today uh, from me and I'm in the Giants playbook. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to use. Let's see here. Let's just use that one play. We were using trips Y flex and we're going to come out wide receiver fork because that's a very good play. So our, our quick audibles and now this is cool if, is if you can have your, you know, your plays in your quick audibles and that works well from bunch. That's why I wrote the books on it and uh, talk about it all the time is bunch is probably the best example. But anyways, so so the, the basic concept here is we're going to run wide receiver fork and this is going to be our our what we call what I would call a jab play. This is a play that is an, an essentially a consistent yard gaining play that's going to allow you to move the ball downfield, um, but it may not be a big play, right? It may not be a big play. It has potential to be a big play, but overall it may not be a big play. So your first read on this is this little, just this little quick out to Gronk, and that's going to work a lot. Uh, as you can see there, we are in cover four. If they go cover two, and you do this through practice, you know, but if they go cover two, you see that's still gonna work pretty consistently, that out route. And what you could do with it, and a lot of people don't know, but you could motion Gronk to the right side of the field. He's gonna become a tight end, okay? And then now it's a little drag route, uh, which is which is really effective as well. So you can do that if you'd like. The other thing that you have is you have a corner route. So corner routes this year, most corner routes don't do very well against, against cover four. As you can see, that corner route really really doesn't do the job that we need it to do. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to turn this this um, this corner out, we're going to turn this into either a drag, a hitch, something along those lines. What I what I actually really like to do is something like this here. I didn't mean to do that, do that motion. But basically a, a spot route is essentially what this is becoming. Now you could leave him on that, but I'm just telling you, I don't know any defense where he's going to get open. Like cover four, he's probably not going to get open. Cover two, as you can see, there's not a whole lot there. Now you might want to leave him on the corner because if they go hard flat out of cover four, what that's going to allow is he's now going to be down outside pass lead and he's going to be able to win. So again, there's there's really nothing else we could put him on. 
So you have that. Um, you also have this little spot route here to the back. Now, I think this route is really, really good for this offense because what's going to happen is it's going to open up this route to circle over the middle. You see the defense is going to bite down on him, and you're going to have that route to Chris Hogan. Now, obviously, not against every defense. So, like, if they ran, let's just say, let's just say they go cover to uh, Tampa 2, right? You see how he's going to hold him there, and you can pass lead that up. It's an, it's an up pass lead. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit him in behind on the Tampa 2, which is one of the harder defenses to beat. But as you can see, if you, you can sneak that, you can kind of sneak that in. And what I would do with this, uh, with this route to Brandon Cooks, I don't think it's actually very good, this this post route. I just don't think it works very good. But as you can see against the Tampa 2, what's going to what's gonna, – because the problem is, is, is they kind of intersect. Chris Hogan and Brandon Cooks kind of intersect which to me it causes a little bit of a problem because if the if the uh, computer you gotta have imagine more than likely the computer or not the computer but the user on the other side of the ball is gonna user that guy. So anyways, but that's a nutshell. That's the power play. You have something that you can establish that's a yard gainer. To me it's that it's that quick out route to Gronk will normally do a pretty good job. What I would actually probably do with this is just bring put him on a make it a drag instead of an out just because it would give him more room. So I would I would always probably motion Gronkowski over, put him on this little drag here, and now it becomes a really good little route that you can get. And it's a yard gainer. It's something that's going to get you consistent yardage. What's going to happen is that middle linebacker um, is going to is going to be the user player, and they're going to have to take that away. So they're going to jump down on that, and then that's going to leave this right here wide open to Chris Hogan. You always want a possession catch that. Always want a possession catch that. Because um, most people, most people this season, myself included, they're going to sit in Tampa 2. And so you have to have a consistent way to beat Tampa 2 this year. So you just step up in the pocket. And as you can see, that right there is, is, is pretty solid. Now, what happens when I want to change the play up? Well, think about this for a second. So you've set them up. So, so what they know is that you're probably going to go to Chris Hogan over the middle, or you're going to go to Gronkowski. Those are the those are the really critical routes that you have on this. Is you have this this essential this this read, okay? So now what you want to do is check your quick audibles and try to find something that you can use. And, and this PA wide receiver in really is a pretty good option. So what you can do is you can take Gronkowski. You want to put him on a streak route. You can motion him to the right side of the field. And then they're not used to have to covering Deion Lewis, so you could put him on an out route, which is going to now make him a viable option. And what I would do with Chris Hogan is I would put him on a drag. Something like this, because now Chris Hogan's going short, Gronk's going deep. And now it's a completely different little read here. Um, and as you can see, the main route that you're going to want to hit is this route on the far right to Brandon Cooks. And again, I've never used this formation before. This is just something that I would see suggest. Um, basically, you're going to look up the seam. If there's no coverage there, you're going to hit that. But more, most of the time, you're going to be hitting this this little underneath crossing route to Chris Hogan. Um, but then what's going to happen off this is that's going to then open up things because um, because the defense is going to get tired of of this same old same old, and so they're going to they're going to eventually crack down the whip. And you're going to be able to hit this route over the middle to Brandon Cooks. And this is really going to be successful. Um, what I would do, because PA wide receiver in the, the, the route is a little bit too deep, I would smart route this. So I would only run this on first and 10, and I would smart route that, that route specifically. Now, again, you can use it without the smart route, but in my opinion, that makes it a little bit better. So you go through, you run your play, and as you can see, this is going to be wide open against the most popular defense in the game, which is cover two. And if they go cover four hard flat, what you're going to find with this is this actually, my opinion, this is a really, really solid route combination on this side. So anyways, guys, the key to your success is not this play, not that play, not the other play. What it is is having a system. And what you want to do is you want to jab, 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 and you want to right hook at the right time. If you right hook at the right time, it's going to be very, very uh, successful for your offense. You're, you're going to win more games, and you're just going to have more fun with the game. Uh, again, keep it simple. I would recommend doing it out of the same formation, but that's in a nutshell the core the core concept that I try to accomplish offensively in Madden 18. 
If you guys are new to the channel, I just want to encourage you to stick around, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know your name.